Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 25th of October 1940, Benjamin Oliver Davis Sr. became the first African American general in the United States Army. Davis was born in Washington, D.C., and although his army records and gravestone claim that he was born in 1877, his biographer since found a census document that suggests he was actually born three years later and had falsified his birth year in order to join the military. Davis first entered military service following the outbreak of the Spanish-American War in 1898, and later went on to serve as Professor of Military Science and Tactics at both Wilberforce University in Ohio and Tuskegee University in Alabama, as well as continuing to serve tours of duty around the world. Having been assigned to the 369th Regiment, New York National Guard, in 1938, he later took command of the unit and was promoted to Brigadier General by President Franklin D. Roosevelt, on the 25th of October 1940. During the Second World War, Davis was an influential member of the Advisory Committee on Negro Troop Policies. Having been tasked with improving race relations and securing the morale of black soldiers in the European theatre, he lobbied to end segregation and introduce full racial integration. Davis was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal on the 22nd of February 1945 for his wise advice and counsel that had brought about a fair and equitable solution to many important problems which have since become the basis of far-reaching War Department policy. Benjamin O. Davis Sr. died on the 26th of November 1970 and was buried in Arlington National Cemetery. His son, Benjamin O. Davis Jr., had already followed in his father's footsteps by becoming the first African-American general in the United States Air Force.